Eric back in the naturopath we're back we're back again but I've spoken myself till I'm just about blue in the face regarding omega-3 so we've, we've um, completed many videos on omega-3 I've also spoken about vitamin C recently now I'm going to do a series of videos just a few probably 10 or 12 on antibiotics my favorite topic I like to crush antibiotics remember I'm still called the candida crusher but if I could I crush antibiotics because I've just got this pet hate I really don't like them I know they're necessary just like nuclear bombs they're probably necessary but we don't like dropping you know nuclear bombs all around the place either so if you're interested see if you can check out more than just one video in this series because I'll explain a little bit about antibiotics I've also written a paper a few years ago which I spruced up and I'll make available for you guys it's called antibiotics and your gut I talk about the several different classes of antibiotics in that paper. You may want to have a read of it. Now, again, I'm not here to uh, denigrate the medical profession or to rubbish people or ridicule people or, uh, you know, to, to go below the belt, if you know what I mean. Antibiotics are necessary. I'm not saying they're not necessary, but it's very important that they only get used at very specific times and not handed out like M&Ms, you know, or cans of Dr. Pepper to everybody because literally so many people get them. Now this video, the topic for this video is can urinary tract in, um, infection or UTI symptoms, can that linger after antibiotics? Absolutely, and in many cases it will. I can't tell you how many patients I've seen over the years, how many female patients I've seen who've had a UTI, who went on antibiotics and it didn't work. It worked partially, then it came back. Then they were given another round and it didn't work. Then they were given another round. Now I could be going on and on like that for another half an hour because I've literally seen some patients who get antibiotics prescribed back to back. It could be the same class, could be a different class. It could be a, a gram positive uh, antibiotic prescribed for a specific condition or it could be a broad spectrum. And these terms I'll explain in other videos what gram negative and what gram positive bacteria are and um, you know uh, the different tricks doctors have up their sleeves. So we'll explain a lot of these things. But suffice to say, urinary tract infection symptoms can linger sometimes for weeks or months after. If an antibiotic is successful, it's a little bit like when you go hunting, not that I like guns or hunting or stuff, but I often use these analogies. So when you go hunting, you know, a good hunter will take one shot and well, that's it, it's game over. And that's what an antibiotic should do. It should be game over. But to me, it's a little bit like you've shot a poor deer or an animal in the leg and it's running away and it's in pain and it's not responding and it slowly gets sicker and sicker. You know, that can happen to people sometimes. They get partially, they get a hit with the antibiotic, creates damage, and then the patient's symptoms can linger and linger on and on and on for weeks or months or even years. It's a mistake in my opinion to have back to back to back to back rounds of antibiotics for a condition that's not responding, okay? It's just not a good idea to do that. So sometimes antibiotics just miss the mark with urinary tract infection. And that's because you could be looking at a drug resistant strain of bacteria there. You could be looking at a yeast infection or a different type of infection involving the urinary you know, organs. You could be looking at a viral condition, for example. You know, there are different reasons why. So, and the other one I've written down here on my cheat sheet is you could be experiencing another kind of health problem that's not a UTI. How many times have you read in a paper where someone was like misdiagnosed? They, you know, they went to a clinic and they had a really bad pain in their gut and they kept getting sent home again and again and eventually they found the tumor and it was you know, a little bit too late then. So it's best that things are picked up early in the piece. So if you don't get a really good result with an antibiotic, you need to get a second opinion, maybe more testing before you even consider taking antibiotics again. It's not a good idea. So if you've had antibiotic and the symptoms partially go away, I really believe the best approach for urinary tract infection is to look at a more natural approach. And I'm sure I've completed other videos on UTIs on this channel. There's a lot of videos on this channel. So if not, I'll make some more and explain about the correct treatment for urinary, urinary tract infection. But yogurt, um, fermented or cultured foods are often good to take after urinary tract infection as is drinking a lot more water, which is a clever idea. But this video is not intended to talk about the treatment of UTI, rather 
to be careful with antibiotics. Okay, so the bulk of cases of urinary tract are E. coli or Escherichia coli bacteria. So many will respond positively to antibiotics, but so many cases don't. So just be careful. And that's probably all I wanted to say in this video, okay? Check out the other videos on antibiotics. You might find something there quite useful. Thanks for tuning in.